happy to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak here. As always, it is a real pleasure to be alongside financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. And boy, do we have a great show lined up for you today. We want you to have a successful retirement. That's why we're on the airwaves each and every week, helping you understand the keys to a successful retirement. Today, we dive into that. What are the keys for you to live in success in retirement, whatever that is for you? We're going to outline that for you today. So get your notebook handy, get your pencil. You're going to want to take some notes so that you are confident about this next stage of life. That's what it's all about. We'll also be telling you about the Retirement Education Foundation's upcoming courses. These are courses taught at major Michigan universities right around our area, helping you understand what it takes to retire confidently in the 21st century. We'll tell you how to attend, where these classes are, and what you need to do to make sure you have a front row seat. Kirk, Michael, great to be back with you. Okay, the keys to a a successful retirement, and it's more than just one or two things, isn't it? Well, it is, Megan. And so, you know, this show could go in so many different directions. Michael and I were talking about before we came on air, you know, how did we want to position this topic? Because I can see myself going down so many rabbit holes <laughs> because it's it, it's not as simple as everyone, particularly people in our financial service industry, the professionals who are supposed to be helping you, it is not as simple as they want it to be. And we're going to talk to you why the financial service industry wants to try to make retirement planning so simple, cookie cutter, one size fits all. So at the end of the day, Michael, it comes down to planning, right? Everything is driven based upon a comprehensive plan, not an, a money guide pro or an e-money software driven one size fits all plan, but an individualized plan. And the challenge is, and it's, it's really why Michael, 12 years ago, I think it's almost 12 years ago now, we started the, the charity, the foundation, the Retirement Education Foundation, teaching classes at all the major universities. And it's the reason why it's an eight-hour course is to be able to build an individualized plan or even find somebody help you create an individualized, customized plan. You need to understand all the levers that are involved in a retirement plan. And there's a lot. And, and it's hard to get good information today, Michael. It, it is. So it really is. And that's, so you mentioned the levers. That's kind of one of our go-to uh, illustrations of how the plan works is there are so many layers or levers to the plan. And that is most people come to a class thinking that there are one or two lever, levers to pull because that's all they've been monitoring for their entire lives is two levers, savings rate and growth rate. That's all they've cared about for the past 20, 30, 40 years. And then as they get closer to retirement, they recognize, uh-oh, wait a minute, there are dozens of levers that go into this plan, retirement dates, income targets, from which accounts, at which times, tax planning, legacy planning, all these different things. And then as they dive in deeper and deeper, they start to recognize not only is it a lot of levers, but they all impact each other. If you pull one lever, that could impact three levers down the road five years from now without you knowing it. I think one, I, you, that was, you said that perfectly because I think that's one of the differences is that now everything that you do, every decision you make today is driven based upon what something will look like 10, 15, 20 years from now. So the decisions you make today is driven by what outcomes you are likely to have when you are 75, 80 years old. That's how you know where you should be taking your money from or how much money you can withdraw and or how soon you can retire or when you should be taking your Social Security. All of these variables need to be driven looking out into the future. What will the, my picture look like? And then work backwards to find the most efficient path to take you through, the, through retirement. Uh, Michael, that's why the classes are eight hours in length. That's why it's a full Saturday course, or we teach them over two evenings. And that's why they're being taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both Novi and Troy campuses, Oakland University. We stream the classes from the universities if you can't attend the universities. So if you'd like to attend one of these courses, you can make a $29 donation to charity. Register at retirementplanningedu.org. So in terms of you know, 
people tell us, well, I, I have this one or two, these one or two questions. I have a, I have a pension or I have social security. I'm going to start taking pretty soon. What's the right time to start that? The first 20, 30 minutes of the class of, of a class is us trying to prepare people for, look, you got to recognize the things that you thought you knew coming into this probably are not going to apply to your retirement. It's not just about turning social security on at 62, like all your friends did, because you're, there's a good chance that you're different than a lot of your friends and your retirement's going to look different than theirs. Michael, and we'll get into Social Security a little later, but 96% of you listening are going to make the wrong choice. That's not our data. That's Social Security Administration telling us their research has found 96% of the people will make the wrong choice with Social Security. It's because you don't know the levers. You don't know the variables to make the decision. I know you think you do with your silly calculator online that the financial service industry conveniently developed for you. <laughs> Again, to oversimplify, very complicated. Look, retirement plan planning, no matter how many Fidelity, Schwab's, TD, or anybody else that does a commercial saying retirement made easy, it is not easy to develop a plan. I'm going to ask every single one of you listening, tell me, or don't, you can't tell me, but think to yourself, when do you plan on social, uh, retiring? When do you plan on, how much money do you plan on living on? How, what accounts are you going to pull the money from? What happens when one of you dies? What's the surviving spouse going to look like? What's their taxes going to look like? What's your taxes going to look like in your mid-70s when you're forced to take distributions from your RMDs? Should I take the pension or the lump sum, or when should I take my, my Social Security? And how does that in Social Security impact the taxation and impact the surviving spouse after I die? Do you, do you see where I'm going? I hope you're starting probably couldn't answer very many of those questions. And by the and, way, and the answer, I'll, I'll figure it out when I get there, is not the right answer. No, you build a plan. Everything you do today, right now, within five to 10 years of retirement, through retirement, everything you do right now needs to be driven based upon what do I need to give me what I want in retirement? Every decision, what you invest in, whether you should take the lump sum or the pension, when you should... Everything is driven. What do I need to give me what I want? That's the starting point. And the problem is most of you don't know if you have what you need to give you what you want. So when we come back, Michael, we're going to talk about retirement dates, okay? So again, we're going to encourage you, sign up for one of our eight-hour courses being taught at all the major universities. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. There's more with Kirk and Michael straight ahead. Happy to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And we want you to sign up for the foundation's retirement courses. If you're thinking about retiring or newly retired, this course is for you. And the good news is we make it easy to attend. These courses are held at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. We offer one-day or two-day courses, your choice, and if you'd rather attend from the comfort of your own home, these courses are also streamed live online. You can attend virtually. To sign up, to register, and get that front row seat, we want you to go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call to register, 800 8981 Today on the show, we're talking about the keys to having a successful retirement. That's something we all want, right? So as we go through these things, I know one of the questions you get all the time, Kirk and Michael, is how do I know when I can retire? And this date is really important. Well, I love it. I, I, this is, I, particularly lately, I've been spending a lot of time on radio, TV, in our classes, talking about when do I have enough to retire? And so a couple of things, and I, I think we mentioned this most every one of our shows now, that only 40% of you will get to choose when you retire. So setting that, that, that fact aside that you, you, you likely will not be able to choose when you get to retire, let's, pl let's play the game that you, you really get this choice now. Let's pretend like you are going to be in control of when you retire. Here's the challenge for you. The calculator's online. 
the 401k calculators, the Schwab, the Fidelity, all the major calculators that you guys are utilizing to determine whether you have enough to be able to retire is wrong. That calculator is designed to oversimplify something and it's it, candidly, it's not close. Any, at least it's not, it, let me rephrase. It is perfectly fine calculator for, for the average baby boomer. The average person retiring who only retires with about $200,000, $250,000 saved can use the 4% calculator that everyone's using today. But the rest of you who have seven hundred, a million, two, three, five million dollars million, $5 million, that calculator is useless. It's not even close. We're teaching people in classes right now how you can withdraw at 6, 7, 8, 9% withdrawal rates. Consistently, consistently 7 and 8% withdrawal rates in our early to mid 60s with zero chance of outliving income. So being able to target a retirement date, for many of you, you guys are you, you guys are working way beyond the years you need to. You already have what you need to give you the retirement you want. You just don't know it. The financial service industry is never going to tell you you have enough. And, and we'll talk about why that is, right? So, so Michael. Why don't you tell them why they, they'll, they'll tell them they need to keep working? So first and foremost, the, the industry is incentivized to scare people. They're incentivized to scare people to work longer, to spend less, because the less you spend, the longer you work, the larger your accounts grow. And most of the industry operates on a fee structure based on AUM. So the more you have, the more they can charge you. And if they can convince someone to retire at 67 instead of 62, that means they get to bill that person on all their account values for an extra five years. And then if they can convince that person to spend less, instead of their accounts shrinking over time, their accounts are going to maintain or grow over time. That's all good things for the industry because they can save time building you a plan. There's less liability there for them. And the kicker is they get to earn more income. Well, now, that one piece being said, the second piece here is we've been talking all about the numbers and the data. The the Maybe the most difficult piece of the whole thing is while this is all happening, there's this thing called the stock market going crazy every single year. Sometimes it's it's up really, really great. Sometimes it's down. And that adds a whole other layer of emotion and fear to people's lives. How many people have delayed retirement this year because the market's down 20%, 25 30%? That is, that's sad, right? Because many of those people already had what they needed, but because they had a market event either fear and anxiety forced them not to retire or the reality of not having enough now. That, so, so they had more risk than they needed. They got caught. They got exposed. So they, we, we, would, we would define that as like out over your skis. They got a little too confident, over aggressive. That's what we mean. Everything you do today in terms of how you invest, when you should retire, how much money you should pull out needs to be driven by what do you have and if that gives you everything you need for retirement. Michael, there's it's not an accident that the financial service industry has brainwashed every person we meet that comes to our classes that they need to protect their principal. It's not an accident that all of you listening believe you need to protect your principal in retirement. Protecting your principal <laughs> just means that the person that's helping you manage your money makes more money. It assures that their retirement is secured, but not yours. You don't get to have the retirement you should have because they have to protect their income because they've created so much fear in you that you're afraid to spend down your principal. A controlled spend down of your principal is fine. You can do it, but you have to have pivots and plans and levers in place to navigate the different turbulent events that are going to occur throughout retirement. And in order to kind of hone in on what does that date look like, it requires projecting out 30 years of all these levers to find out what can my money do for me. And on top of that, you know, we find that people on average tend to, if, if they're savers, they, they tend to be more cautious and they say, I'll work one more year, one more year, one more year. Well, the problem with that is not to be negative, but how many people have we had to help who, who's had a spouse pass away recently? Things happen. Life changes. I know that you might, you might not hate your job, but you probably enjoy other things more often. You, you probably enjoy seeing your family more or fishing or going on vacation more than you like your job. Well, some people don't know that. 
right? Their jobs are their identity, Michael. So while it's illogical for some of us who say, hey, you can retire, go retire. For some, it's, it's who they are, right? But it's also mostly fear. And, and to your point, Michael, you said it. So I'll just work one more year. Well, that one more year just cost many of you. That one more year, if you had retired last year before the market had corrected, you'd be retired and you'd be fine. But some of you said, I'll wait one more year or two more years. And if what if we lose another decade? Are you going to work for another six years because you were too afraid to retire when you had what you needed to give you what you wanted? That's why it's eight hours. It's a master's level course. It's advanced. Okay. And it moves fast. All you have to do to attend one of these courses at one of the major universities is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll see you back here right after the break. There's more with Michael and Kurt coming up. Here with financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy, Michael Mazarin. We're glad you've tuned in for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, I'm Megan Mozak, and great topic for you here on the show today. One that you really want to be uh, keying in here on. We're talking about the most important points to a successful retirement. So if you're thinking about retirement, you're getting close to that date, maybe you're newly retired, this show is for you. You do not want to miss the points that... Kirk and Michael are making here really the keys to a successful retirement. And boy, they're a lot different than they were for retirees 10, 15, 20 years ago. Things have changed. So we want you to have this new information. It's so important. I also want to tell you how you can get even more information, and that's by planning to attend the Foundation's Courses on Retirement. These retirement education courses, they are so in-depth. It's really a deep dive into how to retire successfully in the 21st century. So to attend, you can call or you can go online. Here's the phone number. It's 800-240-8981. Again, it's 800-240-8981. The website to register is retirementplanningedu.org. Again, that's retirementplanningedu.org. Now, keep in mind, these courses fill up very quickly, several locations to make it easy for you. These are taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University, a one- or two-day course, that's your choice, And you can also attend virtually. So go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. Kirk, Michael, as we talk about keys to a successful retirement, we have to keep in mind our retirement date. That's huge. But this really corresponds to our income and our income needs in retirement. How so? You know, Megan, we were in the break here talking about that last segment, and I felt like we jumped around quite a bit. So what I'd like to do is hopefully put a bow on that previous segment in terms of retirement dates. And then how does determining how much income I'm going to need in retirement fit into retirement dates? So one of the struggles with doing these radio shows is when we try to, in a very short period of time, oversimplify a very complicated question. And this planning process isn't simple to have the most efficient retirement plan, retire as soon as you can with the most amount of income, there are a lot of different variables that have to be considered. And I think that was evident in our last segment as we jumped around all over the place because you've got messages. So, so I, Michael, I think one of the biggest problems is the message from the financial service industry is very different than our message. And I I think one of our goals from our radio shows is making sure people are aware that there is a way to have a better retirement by educating yourself and spending eight hours in a class. There is no incentive for the financial service industry to spend more time building your plans and educating yourselves to spend more money. Why would they want you to spend more of your money? The more you spend, the less they make. There is zero incentive for them to do that. And this is where I think a lot of people get themselves in trouble. This is where and why we think and we see thousands of people. We've taught thousands of people, one to $60 million. That's who's coming to our courses. Usually that one to $20 million client is who's attending the classes. 
you're all working longer than you need to. You're all not taking as much income as you could. And the reason is, is you're listening to the general rules that are not applicable to you. They don't apply to your situations. And so the 4% rule is wrong. How much income you need in retirement that they tell you is wrong. You're not going to need less income in retirement. If you're someone with a million to $10 million, you're going to spend the same amount or more in retirement than you did the last five years you were working. What are you going to do with all that extra time, Michael? Well, I mean, the study that everyone quotes um, saying that most retirees, quote unquote, on average, spend roughly 77% of the income they were earning while they were working is such it's it's quoted by everyone first and foremost and it's such a skewed study because that study they took a, a sample of average Americans from all different walks of life now almost 40% of Americans get almost all their income from social security and that is it period they have nothing else save for retirement so the answers from those people really skew the answers from people who save for retirement the people who save well for retirement live at least on what they were living on what they were living on while they were working, sometimes more in those first five or 10 years. To your point, when you're in the go-go years, the first five, 10 years of retirement, you now have thousands of extra hours of time to go spend and travel and do things you want to do. Most of those people spend more money in the first five or 10 years. Michael, I know people are listening to us. I know because you know the people who attend our courses? They're people with greater than a million dollars of investable assets. They're those who have uh, uh, they're highly educated engineers, right? It's the engineers, the CEOs, the CFOs, the CPAs. You all are stubborn people. I get it. So are we. So am I. I get it. And when I tell you that you're going to need as much or more in retirement, you're going to try to fight us on this. And I'm. this is the first time you're ever going to do this in your life. We've taught this for years and years and taught thousands and thousands of people. And we have the data. We know what you're spending. We know you're going to spend more money in the first five to 10 years of retirement than you did the last five to 10 years you were working. We know this. There, there are exceptions, Michael. The, the exceptions are those people with a million dollars or greater income per year. While they are working, those people might spend a little less. But that core, 150 to 350, those people with that type of income while they were working will want that kind of income in that first 10 years of retirement. I, I just, we have the data. That's, that's what, that's what it's going to be. And so this is what we mean. I mean, Michael said it, when people attend our eight hour course, the first 20 to 30 minutes of the class is preparing people to understand that everything they believed and thought was true about what was going to drive success for their retirement was wrong. It was not applicable to you, to them, and it's they have to just open their heads and hear what we teach them for eight hours. And when they leave the class, they are so much better prepared for retirement, it, it changes their retirement perspective totally. They live on more income. They protect the spouse that they weren't even thinking about before. They, have, they retire earlier, and they pay significantly less taxes. And I know we're going to get the taxes in this class, in this show but they pay significantly less taxes because we teach them the levers. Attend one of our eight-hour courses at all the major universities, University of Michigan, Michigan State, Oakland, Eastern Michigan. We're streaming them live. One day, full Saturday course, or two evenings, total of eight hours. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or call 800 240 89 and we'll be back with Kirk and Michael right after this. Happy you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. I'm Megan Mozak alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And we want to know, have you signed up for the courses yet? We've been telling you about the courses that the foundation sponsors, and these are held at major Michigan universities, and they're designed to help you walk away feeling more confident about launching into retirement and having a successful retirement. And they're taught at, as I said, major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. And you can decide if you'd like to attend in person or virtually. All of the courses are streamed live. 
And you have the choice also of attending a one-day or a two-day course. Here's how you get a seat. You simply go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. Again, that's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call to get registered, 800 240 8981. As we say, we do not recommend you go into retirement without sitting through this course. We know you'll get value. So sign up today. And we're involved in a great conversation about your successful retirement here on the program with Kirk and Michael. We've been talking about the keys to a successful retirement. I want to ask about Social Security and pensions because Kirk and Michael, you get questions about this all the time, I know. But timing this, the date, when to claim Social Security, when to step away and get that pension, this could have huge implications on your overall retirement. How so? You know, it's funny, Megan, because people tend to correlate retirement with these milestones, right? Whether it's, I'm going to retire once I'm able to collect my full Social Security, or I have to wait until 65 so I can get my Medicare because I can't retire before Medicare kicks in. Do you know how many people we meet? It's a little funny because we meet, obviously, thousands of people in our courses. And then we have our private practice with over a 1,000 people as well. We meet people all the time that come to us. They have three, five, seven, ten million dollars, and they're telling us, I can't retire yet because Medicare hasn't started. Like something magical happens when Medicare kicks in. That's silly. Buy private insurance. It's not much more expensive. Especially, you got $5 million. You want to live on $250,000 a year in retirement, and you're 63 years old. You could buy your own health insurance. It's not that much more than Medicare is going to be. I mean, what, $10,000, $15,000 more a year for you and your wife? That's a rounding error in your retirement plan. I think the challenge for people with all of these decisions, Michael, is their relationship with Mike. They don't understand how to connect the dots between how much money do I need to take out versus what what's going to be left at the end? Like they won't spend down their money that aggressively. They think these little 10000 here, $5,000, $15,000 here is going to change their how long their money lasts. And these one-offs are sort of silly. I mean, people use these excuses from based upon fear of not knowing if they have enough or not. So they create these milestones that are, are the triggers. So you're right. People tend to gravitate towards these more or less irrelevant milestones in terms of, okay, so I can start taking Social Security at 62, or my full retirement age is 66 in 10 months, or uh, Medic- Medicare at 65, or I've even heard, well, our kids will graduate from college in two years, so we'll graduate then. Okay, what are the chances that the timing on your children's college graduation is when you should be retiring? Those are two totally irrelevant things. And even if you are helping the kids fund their college, those still aren't two milestones that should be tied together. That's not how that should work. Retirement dates should be built on a plan, and so should those things like Social Security and pensions. I mean, we hear all the time. I actually heard... Um, we met with, with one person who I think it was their son-in-law worked for the social, social Security office in their local city. And they told us that, well, our son-in-law informed us we should take our Social Security as soon as possible. And he <laughs> works for them, so he must know that that's the, he has seen the, the formulas and everything, so he must know what he's talking about. And I asked them, okay, does he know what your net worth is? No. Does he know when you want to retire? No. Does he know your tax planning? No. Okay, he knows none of those puzzle pieces. But somehow he can give you a rubber stamped idea of when to take Social Security. Michael, this is why 96% of the people choose the wrong Social Security strategy when selecting to start Social Security. They get it wrong because they think it's a, a calculator, a gross calculator before taxes is the answer. And it's not. The answer is based upon taxes. It is. Life expectancy and taxes are the two variables. It's not a gross calculator. It's not the break-even calculator that's not even considering taxation. Please understand that your Social Security and what percentage of your Social Security is taxable then impacts your taxable portions of your required minimum distributions. It may impact your dividends and capital gains taxation. It may impact your means testing on your Medicare. All of these things are interconnected. 
and they have to be mapped out and you have to you have to know all the levers to be able to map it out and it's not simple and it's not quick and it's not software generated and that's the challenge right that's the challenge it's not simple and on top of that people typically do run those numbers those break even calculators and we have seen so many engineers bring in their their own calculators with those things and they don't account for their spouse no. So so maybe they were the breadwinner and their spouse had a lower earning job or was a, a stay-at-home parent and they aren't factoring their spouse into the equation at all. So if they pa- if they start their benefits early, then pass away, they're leaving behind a much smaller benefit for their spouse for the rest of their spouse's life. It's millions of dollars, folks. Social Security is millions of dollars. And when you choose the wrong strategy, it's going to impact you by hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not a small variable. It is the one of the only sources of income that you have that will never stop, that has longevity protections. And inflation protections. Really large inflation protections recently, in fact. So, you know, look, your life expectancy, that's not the variable. The high income earner's life expectancy is not relevant. If you are married, it's not relevant, right? It's because when you die, Michael said it, the surviving spouse gets the greater of the two benefits. And obviously we want one of those benefits as large as possible to protect its surviving spouse. And quickly, I know the last factor here. Some people think that, um, you know, it's, it's the government's money versus my money. I want to spend the government's money first. It's, it's, it's not the government's money. It's your money. It's earmarked for you. You can't think about it that way. Yes, and stop using irrational thoughts like something's going to happen to your Social Security. If you're within 10 years of retirement, 40% of retirees, that's all they have is Social Security. They're not taking it away. So come to the class so you can understand all the levers. It's a reason. It's a master's levels course. It's eight hours in length. It's advanced retirement planning to help you make the right decisions, not what the financial service industry wants you to decide, but what is best for you. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. More Retirement Education Hour straight ahead. We're glad you've joined us. This is the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak alongside Kirk Cassidy, Michael Mazarin. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. They are financial instructors. In fact, they're two. They're just two of the many instructors that you may meet at the foundation's courses. These courses are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University, and you can choose to attend in person or take advantage of the live streaming at all of these locations and attend virtually. Here's how you register. Simply go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or the phone number to register is 800-240-8900. 81. Today on the program, we've been talking about the keys to your successful retirement. Boy, we've covered a lot. Our retirement date, income needs, Social Security and pensions, how to claim, when to claim. We can't get very far, though, in terms of our success in retirement without addressing taxes. Kirk and Michael, tell us more. So uh, just I just want to throw this out there on taxes because uh, this is a buzzword. Everybody in the financial service industry is talking about tax efficiency and tax planning. And they might do a year or two. Oh, you might want to Roth convert here a little bit and do this here a little bit. No one is really doing real advanced tax planning, like what we're teaching in the class. It's not even close. because So for, for the average person that's going to retire with $1 to $10 million, if you do it, if you do proper income planning, you're going to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes, hundreds of thousands. And the, the sample case that I, that I walk through on the, on the charity's website, the sample case that we go through in the, the class that we're actually teaching you about, that particular plan saves five to $600,000 in taxes. We have some that save millions of dollars in taxes over their lifetime. It's all about understanding how to fill brackets and not bump brackets. And Michael, to do this, it's not simple. It takes, I know in our private practice, when we do a plan, when we work with someone and we do real planning, it's, it's 60 hours to build a plan because there's no software that gives us the outcomes. It really requires us to project forward based upon 
conservative growth rates, what our tax liabilities are going to be in our 70s, and then work backwards to find the most efficient path so that we can map it out for 30 years. And to do that, and this is why I honestly, I feel like we've really struggled in this show. I have personally, I've been a little manic all over the place because there are so many levers and variables to all of these decisions. They're all interconnected. And that's why the class is eight hours, Michael. That's why it's so complicated. Michael, can you help hone me in a little bit on taxes? Because there, there's so much I want to share. And, and I know you can, you're so much better with your words. <laughs> You, you, you simplify it and explain it so well. So first and foremost, I mean, tax planning, it, it comes down to a couple of things. What kinds of dollars have you, have you saved throughout while working? There are IRA dollars, Roth dollars, after-tax dollars. That, that plays a big factor. Pension versus lump sum. Sorry. And then once you, once you do retire, it comes down to which accounts do you pull income from and which amounts at what times. Because if you listen to the common uh, industry advice, they tell people, spend all of your after-tax dollars first and save all of your IRAs until later because your IRAs are growing tax deferred, which sounds great at first, but then you recognize, wait a minute, in my 60s, I spent all of my after-tax dollars and I paid very little in taxes that decade. And now I'm in my 70s, 80s, and 90s, and I'm getting hammered on taxes because my RMDs are through the roof. That wasn't a good outcome. And by the time you're 75, 80, 85, 90, you can't go back and fix that. So we avoid that by building a 30-year projection starting on day one so that we know what is your tax bill going to be in year three versus year 12 versus year 27. And so when you do it that way, we can map the whole thing out and make sure you're not missing anything. And that's what we teach in the class is how do you project forward? We give you, we teach you how to do, calculate how much RMDs you, you're going to be forced to take out in your mid seventies. What percentage of your social security is taxable? Why right now, for most of you, you should be taking the lump sum instead of the pensions and reinsuring it yourself. So you get to control how much taxable income and when you take that taxable income, right? I, again, our radio show is focused on those people that have some savings, right? We're talking to that $1 million to $10 million client, making these decisions on when to take pensions, when to take your social, lump sums or Social Security, when to pull money from your IRAs, whether you should be Roth converting, whether you should be using charitable strategies and how to use charitable strategies. It all has to be mapped out. And in the class, we teach you how to calculate all of the tax liabilities for every aspect throughout every decade of your retirement so that you can create your own efficient path from a tax perspective to minimize taxes. One thing you mentioned there, charitable strategies, I mean, talk about a rabbit hole, but to yes. quickly sum up on that, um, people will sometimes approach us saying, well, how much should I donate to save on taxes? Well, that one question has 14 different answers depending on what are your charitable goals? How, are you itemizing or not? Do you have highly appreciated assets to do a donor advised fund with? Is are legacy you in, important? Is legacy important to you? All these different things. Some people, they don't have any beneficiaries. They, are, they have no children or maybe their children are doing just fine on their own and they're going to leave all their wealth to a charity. And if that's their plan, then we explain to them, look, instead of leaving it to a charity when you're gone, give the money away while you're living and get a whole lot of taxable benefits, and you can you can and you can see it being used. You can enjoy it while you're helping the charity. One hundred percent. By the way, for a lot of people, that provides a lot of purpose in retirement. Like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after retirement. Well, <laughs> for a lot of our clients in our private practice, a lot of people that we that come to our classes, we teach them how to utilize charities and and donate to charity while they're alive, and then they can get involved and be involved. But Michael. One of the aspects around charitable planning and legacy planning is how you're able, especially if, if they're giving money to charity after they're gone, by giving it while they're alive, they're going to increase their cash flow and minimize their taxes so significantly. But all of this has to be mapped out, right? And it's... Go and ahead. quickly, do you know why, why people don't do that? Is because they're afraid. I know. They, they're afraid of, well, if I give this money to charity now, what if I need money for myself in the future? So that fear prevents them from giving to the charity now. It makes them more tax inefficient. All these fears impact their retirement. Why, is, why, why do they have fear? Because they've been taught to have fear by the financial service industry who doesn't want you to spend your money. Because the less you spend, the more they get to bill. <laughs> Come to an eight-hour course. They're taught at all the major universities. It's an eight-hour master's levels course 
teaching you how to build your own income and retirement plan. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. All you have to do is make a $29 donation. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. Back in just a moment, you're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. Glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. We've had a great conversation today, and we're so glad you're a part of it, helping you understand what you need to do to achieve a successful retirement. And this does not happen by accident. It certainly takes a plan. We're going to get into that in just a moment. I want to make sure you have the website and the phone number so that you can get registered for the Foundation's upcoming courses on retirement planning. As I've told you, these are deep dives into all things retirement. So if you are thinking about retirement, you're newly retired, this is for you. We want you to walk away with confidence. So make plans to attend. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. The phone number to register, 800-240-8981. Keep in mind, we make it easy. These are held at local universities here in the state of Michigan, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. We want you to call or go online to register today. So as we talk about a a successful retirement, you've shared so many keys, Kirk and Michael. But at the end of the day, this comes down to a plan, doesn't it? It does. And it's, you know, it's the same story for you guys who've been listening to our shows for a while. We're going to talk about what drives a successful retirement is planning. And it's what we teach in the classes. What a plan looks like. Y'all don't know what a plan looks like yet. That's part of it. Y'all think you think you know because your advisors and brokers and and the financial service industries told you, here's your plan. That is not what we're talking about. And that is not a plan. You will see a plan. In fact, I would encourage you if eight hours of a classroom sounds too daunting, it it might be too much for you to, to imagine committing to. Go to our website, and I spend about 45 minutes walking through what a real retirement plan looks like. Now, understand, it's not the greatest production quality. I did this uh, probably a couple years ago now, but you're going to, so it's not not the greatest video you have ever seen, but I'm going to tell you, it's 45 minutes of explaining exactly what a retirement plan looks like, and you're going to see the number of levers and the tax savings. It's the sample plan we talk about in the class. It's what we teach in the class. And our experience is having hundreds of people watch that video now, the majority of them after watching this, what a retirement plan looks like, after they spend that 45 minutes, Michael, they're attending a class. And they're going to attend a class after you watch that video. And it's because they want to better understand the levers. To your point, this is really complicated and we can't teach the whole thing in that 45 minute video. So they see the video, they go, okay, I get it. There are, we said it at the top of the show, when you're growing your money, there are two levers to think about savings rates and you're going to track your average return. That's all everyone, everyone ever cares about. But once they see the sample plan, they realize there are so many levers here and they have to be better prepared on how to make those decisions. People typically without a plan, they allow fear to drive them. They allow fear to decide, okay, I'm going to work for as long as I can because what if I retire too early and run out of money? And then once I do retire, I'm going to spend just what I have to spend to get by because what if I spend too much and run out of money? It's all driven by the fear of running out of money. And that's what a plan helps people to solve. It's funny, Michael, but you keep saying fear. And our biggest fear, and I say this all the time when we're on the radio, our biggest, and we say this in the class too, our biggest fear for most of the people who attend our course isn't that they're going to outlive their money. It's that they're going to way underspend what they otherwise could have been spending. That is our fear. Most of you will protect your principal, unfortunately, when you don't need to. In other words, you retire with $3 million, you die with $3 million. For some of you, that's not what you want. Legacy isn't a priority to you. Your priority is just don't let me outlive my, my money. Don't let me outlive my money and have something bad happen. That's why you go to the website and watch all the different pivots, right? We know we're going to have three to five major market events throughout your retirement. We know that one spouse is going to predecease the other. A plan is going to address all of those issues. I think the sample plan has someone in their, in their mid sixties or 65 years old, and they're going to withdraw 8% per year out 
day one with zero chance of outliving their income. Zero chance. So it's a two, I think it's a $2 million case. If I remember correctly, I hope I'm talking about the right one. It's a $2 million. They came to us with $2 million, and we were able to create $160,000 of cash flow at 65 years old, increasing for inflation with a zero chance of outliving their income. Even if there's a long-term care event in their 70s and 80s, even if we have three or four recessions, it's a bulletproof plan and it saves five to six hundred thousand dollars in taxes. And that's one of the reasons why they won't outlive their money, because they're saving five to six hundred thousand dollars in taxes. And if you if you remember when they first came to see us, they were planning on working until they were 70 because they thought that's what they needed to do to make their plan work. And that's not that just was not the case. And that's the point. And that's what we try to teach in the class is how do you create the specific retirement plan you want, retire when you want to retire, not based upon fear, but when you're ready and to take the income that you can spend, not what you need to spend. Isn't it ironic? The first question that all of you get when you go see an advisor or a broker is how much do you need in retirement, right? You go to them saying, can I retire? And they say, how much do you need? And you say, well, I need 80,000. Okay. Yeah, I think you're okay. You can do that. Well, they came to you with, you came to them with $2 million and you're 70 years old. You should be able to take $180,000 a year, 160 to $180,000 a year, not 80. You asked the wrong question. The question, when they ask you, how much do you need in retirement? You need to come back at them and ask them, well, how much money can I spend in retirement? That's the key. So Attend one of our eight hour courses and we're going to teach you how we're going to teach you what a real retirement plan looks like. You might not be able to build it when you're done with the class, but you're going to know the levers and you're going to know if you hire somebody, if they're providing you a comprehensive maximized plan or not. That's the key. Eight hours. It's either one full Saturday or two evenings. We teach them at just about every major university here in Michigan now. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. You can register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or call 800-240-8981. Investment advisory services are offered by Strategic Investment Advisors, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.